Hello and welcome to episode four of the Like a Boys podcast. Uh, yeah, I'm Dylan. We got uh, do I normally say Heaven? Hey, man. Roz. Hello. And Emma. I'm not a boy. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's like a boys, but also with a female. Female. Sorry, am I not allowed to say that? Uh, not like a male's podcast. The like a boys. Plus one girl. And like a girl. Yeah, like a girl. Yeah. 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 Anywho. We're recording this like. An hour or two later than we normally do, because we had to wait for a pizza to show up. I wonder why uh, we, we had to wait, wait no, 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 so no. long. We were not waiting for it to show up. We were <laughs> waiting for you to select your topics. Oh my god. Listen, Dylan really, really had his heart set on this one pizza, <laughs> and it just didn't happen, so mm. the hour was spent in vain. He wanted a salami pizza I wanted so salami bad. on the pizza. And then he wanted more cheese on one side of the pizza than the other, and it's just, Why? Uneven foundation. Well, shout shout we, out to Anthony. We got the olives. Shout out to Anthony, our yeah. Lord and Savior. And Mary, she brought us the pizza. Mary, love her. Was it? She's yeah. very nice. Oh, good, good. She was like, you think Mary's a guy's name? I thought I and saw Mario. a male figure get out of the car, but no, Mary's she's a Mary. buff lady. Okay, hey, buff. But in that word, Mary. Nothing Mary's wrong with the. Uh, you go, Mary, if you're buff and also listening to this. No, she's just a short figure. Oh, then I was hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> or a man followed her. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> or <laughs> Mary's day <laughs> got worse as soon as she left the property. That's who you saw coming out of the bushes was the guy following her. <laughs> or Anthony came, but he got scared. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to meet you just yet. See, Anthony's a legend. Anthony, He's like, God bless you. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, I'm here, and I'm not late. Hey. Yeah. hey. You were still the last one here, though. By, like, 20 minutes. Oh, that is true. Don't take away from my victory, hey, yeah. Emma. It's my job. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me just... I'll start us off. Mm. No, we have to move the move. You gotta move the pop filter. <laughs> oh! That was loaded. See, it doesn't burst all over your clothing. You did it wrong. Oh. Dang it. And you don't do like a certain someone in English class every day. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we respect that though, because we know you're listening. We know who you are. No, we know who you are. It's like, <laughs> T we minus know ten. <laughs> she had a countdown for her own drinks. It's like, bro, <laughs> let's just take a minute and respect her. <laughs> Thank you. Are we talking? <laughs> uh, uh, we don't name names. I mean, uh, we we just, we just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> But I do admire your drink cooking skills. Yeah, for real. A very crisp start to our English very, class every day. Very, very crisp. You actually influence our, a lot of our openings. So yeah. Thank you. Yes. I did not drink that right. Yes. You were losing so much of that just all over your chest. Uh, <laughs> and on my knee, thank you. Why it's on my thigh, all right? You're not, you're not alone here. Meanwhile, Heaven and I have premium seats outside of the splash zone. Yes, yes. Uh, How many clothes are you going to mess up with mine, Dylan? Uh, <laughs> it sounded like you said gloves. I was like, what? I Is it going to be an hour glove collection. of you like <laughs> gloves. coming at me and correcting me? And, like, Donald yes. gloves. Or... I will try to keep it to less than five times. Okay, Starting twice. now. Starting now. Five no, twice. Fine. All right, agreed. Oh, yeah, so I have something I wanted to bring up. Mm-hmm. Um... I, w- I wanted to say this last podcast, but I never got around to it. Mm-hmm. And I, I started talking about it a little bit after we finished recording. Sounds pretty deep. Stop playing with my eraser. So, um, Ross, are you going to marry him? <laughs> that brings me to my next question. Dylan. Okay. Nah. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's fine. No. I'm still wondering. This is a little side note, but... Uh, our special guest Chris, that was previously on the show, he will eventually tell you what he had. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget. All right, stay tuned. Maybe you don't know. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, yeah. We will get it out. You or he he will kiss the hand. You can't vocalize oh, at the dime. <laughs> What's your story, uh, Mr. Kang? All right, go ahead. Dylan. Uh, so like a fast food restaurant, but like <laughs> it's like um. Pork? Mm-mm. No. Pork? I mean, that was an idea. 
pork nuggets. Oh. <laughs> but that's not what I was trying to get at. <laughs> Um, Mommy, we talk about that one later. No, no, please don't. No, you want to hear this. Um, as a very anti-pork person, very against pork, despite no. the pepperoni I'm eating right now, um, don't. No, because we were stork? watching... <laughs> <laughs> what? I just mean the middle and have stork nuggets. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. It'll cut down on population, too. Oh, yeah. No, that's where babies come from, right? Because me, Dylan, and Heaven, we were watching this video, and this guy rolled up ground beef, and it was so, like, pink, I was like, is that pork? And then he, Dylan just had this epiphany of pork, pork nuggets. nuggets. Okay, hold on. Is there a meat that's not pink before you cook it? Uh, white but pink. it was like Patrick Star pink. <laughs> okay. Patrick pink. <laughs> it was Patrick Star's meat. So, Dylan. <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. A dedicated br- uh, fast food breakfast restaurant. It's like McDonald's has breakfast. A dedicated Burger King house? has breakfast. Waffle House isn't fast food. Oh, you saying... can't go into a drive thru and get some. What type, wow. what type of Do food you want to like drive through breakfast? Parties. Parties. Parties Hardee's isn't a breakfast place. I've yet, never not breakfast. had breakfast from Hardee's. Well, yeah, but a lot of people eat breakfast only at McDonald's. That doesn't make it a dedicated breakfast. What, what's like the place known for breakfast? I hop. Like, uh, I hop, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I hop. I hop. The boy goes. Like in Vegas. But no, like, like, cause like, at first you think like, well, I don't know if I want to drive through pancakes cause like they'll be yeah. sloppily made and all that stuff. But if it's dedicated, they'll be spending all their like time and energy perfecting it. into perfecting it and getting you good drive through pancakes or good That's a good idea. Waffles. What's the name? How fast can you cook pancakes? Uh, pork nugget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the name's completely unrelated to what we serve. Yeah. <laughs> it'd, it'd be like waffle tacos that'd be kind of cool but I gotta like, look this up I gotta know I feel like there's gotta be one fast food uh, breakfast place yeah no, I just not. I don't like the idea of fast food like scrambled Bre- eggs. you call it break fast hey. and there it is oh just got it got it that's, that's pretty good also Ross a little call out here here's here's one of my approved three. number three and it's oxymoron go ahead so <laughs> good one okay so, so you won't eat fast food scrambled eggs, but you'll eat, like, school scrambled eggs. I won't eat school scrambled eggs. All right. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. Because they just always have a weird texture. You yeah, know what I mean? It's like the instant eggs. It's the powder. I will. No. God, God, no. I do like instant mashed potatoes a lot more than homemade ones. Oh, I'm Emma, sure. I'll, Definitely. since that wasn't, like, a negative connotation, I won't count that as one of your call outs. One time, I cracked 180 eggs. Why? Like in how long? At once? Yes. <laughs> oh, you mean like in one hand, like 180, like... <laughs> no, like... Time. It's a ripple effect. Like, um... I was, I was helping out for, like, a, a breakfast thing, uh, and I was, I was making the scrambled eggs, so I had to crack 180 eggs. It was three packs of, like, those 60 bulk packs. It was 180. And I was cracking them all with one hand, because, like... Like, like one hand energy? each. So I was doing, like, because I was, like... Because my hands were freezing, because these were, like, right out of the fridge. And freezing. Like, they, they were cold. Because, like, I, cause like, cracking one egg, like, you don't notice the fact that the egg is cold and, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. When you're doing that for however long it takes to crack 180 eggs, you notice. I think it took, like, 15 minutes to finish cracking them all. In that video we watched where Gordon Ramsay was, uh, like, cracking eggs. He, like, cracked it, and the egg was coming out while he was lifting the egg up. And, like, he used the momentum and just slung it in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my like God. the egg monster. Gordon, Gordon Ramsay, man. What a man. Gordon Ramsay, man. Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> Gordon Ramsay? What if he started judging, like, he quit food and started judging other stuff, like... He does that. He, does he did, hotels. like, a hotel one, yeah. Oh, snap. What does he know about hotels? He shows up, he sleeps there, he's like, hey, this was the worst experience of my life, and he leaves. Oh, how terrible. This sounds like... Rest. There's a pee under What if he gets on a personal level, he's like... <laughs> What are you wearing? <laughs> you filthy rag. Idiot sandwich. Your bum. <laughs> your freaking <laughs> bum. Your freaking bum. We're gonna get in a donut bread. <laughs> donut broke your freaking brain. He's not Scottish. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. They're all the same. Yeah, it's, no. all, it's, well, it's all basically. Mind. I was gonna say it's all UK. But it's like potatoes true. and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are you... Irish people and Scottish. And yeah, people. I'm offended. Yeah, all of our Irish listeners out there. I'm half Irish. See, me and my Ugandans, we don't have to worry about all that. Like and voice podcast, popular in Uganda. Don't forget mm-hmm. to leave what percentage Ugandan you think I am in the comments.
Jones. Also, the day we actually record video for this podcast, you guys might be in for a bit of a surprise when you see heaven. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? Never though? thought about that. Yeah, you'll get to see how wide I am. <laughs> it's not like you said wide. <laughs> yeah, wide and white. Wink, no wink. I mean, no wink, wink. Blink. I mean, <laughs> blink, wink. He just blinks twice. <laughs> Y'all ever driving down the road and like a car comes at you and it's like winking? No, no. Like one headlight out. Oh. That was a weird way to put it, but yeah, that <laughs> has that. Said one headlight out. Because this happens to me like multiple times every day, like many cars. You should call the police. No, but I'm like snitch. Hey, snitches get stitches. I saw this post on Instagram. It's like those thoughts you have, like you're driving, <laughs> you're driving, <laughs> you're, driving no, you're, dri- yeah. you're driving on a bridge and like. You realize that you can just swerve yeah. over and crash off. It's like the pursuit of something, maybe. Dude, I always do that. Yeah, and like, but afterwards, I'm like, that's crazy. No, like, like what I are you cr- talking I about? Actually swerved. Oh, yeah. you actually yeah. got the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You was like, I don't want to live life being like, what if? So I just do it. Dylan, you have yeah. driven a car twice at most. That's two bridges. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that one time that we were driving together? I think we were going to a Taco Bell, mm-hmm. and like after three minutes of driving, I realized I can't see at all. Yeah, you couldn't see a thing. <laughs> Like <laughs> after three <laughs> minutes, it, yeah. was, it was. Oh humid. shoot, headlights! This was, thing. It was what? It was like humid out or something. It was humid and cold. Yeah, like, so, humid. Like, so like once we get in, he turns on like the. Is that a thing? Can it be humid and cold? Yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. fog. That's what it, fog it's is. It's like condensating. I'm so mean. That's my bad. So like, You're so mean. <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm just correct. It just sounded weird in my head because like humid, I think hot. Yeah. But I was but, like hot cold. Yeah, <laughs> it's icy hot. It's shack. But like we get in the car. <laughs> He turns on the AC, and then immediately. <laughs> oh, I had a drink of water. Oh, that hurt. So oh. You turn on the AC, and then <laughs> the windshield just fogs up immediately. And we're like, oh, that's not good. So we turn it up more, <laughs> and then it fogs up even more. <laughs> And then the side mirror, or side windows got fogged up too. Yeah, like, we can't see. <laughs> but a deer pops out. Like if deer really did pop out, then it. A deer popped out, and we almost hit it while we were trying to like stare off the thing. Yeah, I probably like, said, "Oh dear." <laughs> anyway, yeah, y'all could have died. Yeah. Uh, so no, that happened to me. My windshield was fogged up, and I was like, "Okay." And then I did this, and that smudged the window. I couldn't see <laughs> with the headlights. I was like, I am going to die. Y'all know you have a defrost setting, right? Yeah, but the defrost the was defrost working. was causing it. Yeah, it's not. It's not frost. It was fog it was caused re-frost. by the fo- caused by yeah, the yeah. The refroster was on. Yeah, <laughs> that's just the air conditioning. It's like it's when you have to wipe inside the windshield. Not I had like to wipe inside and outside and stick my head out the window. Just don't breathe as much. I was like. <gasps> And then I pass out. <laughs> Just vape you know, all the condensation. Then I woke like up you. here. It was the craziest thing. I mean, it was all a dream. It was two years ago. Okay, two, two years? Wait, no, one year. Because it was English class last year when we had the idea. Fire cold doesn't have the same ring to Icy Hot. I did that. I don't know. That's, That's probably, probably why they went with Icy Hot. I know that. <laughs> like, is it? <laughs> You bring out the sarcastic, mean person in doing. No, Here's the thing, though. You weren't here Ross. when I said it. <laughs> we were talking about, like, how you had a girlfriend now. And it was like, yeah, uh, heaven was saying, like, yeah, he used uh, my steps to success, my three steps. And he was, like, saying, it was like, you throw the ice, throw they the slip, ice. and you slide. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. And it was like, it, and I was like, I don't think, I don't think Ross used that. And it was like, oh, yeah, well, he's got a girlfriend, and he used, yeah, he, he tried must to use expose my steps. me. And then I was like, well, it's your, it's your steps, but look at you. Yeah, and I was like, whoa. Oh, See, here's the thing, dang. Russ. You've got to consider that you're sitting with three Capricorns and you're a Virgo. Stop bringing up the freaking Zodiac signs. It makes sense. It just makes so much sense. It makes sense that you keep bringing it up and thus you're using that as a point of argument. I mean, yeah. It's not valid, is it? All you listeners out there, comment what day you think my birthday was on. <laughs> <laughs> 28 clout. Closest, tokens yeah, and closest guess is yeah. 28 tokens. 28 deal tokens. Yeah. You're calling them dual tokens now? I mean, yeah. no, let's Ross do cloud tokens. tokens. Cloud coins. Cloud coins. I yeah, like tokens. that. I like that a lot. Are we doing prices right rules on the birthday? Uh, they're a game. Out. I'm going to test it, so I guess I'm going to have it too, right? Sorry, what? 
You, <laughs> yeah, what is that? Like, <laughs> Sorry, Maurice, remember, what are you all talking of us just about? Had a blink, like <laughs> the brain, like pain play. For like the last thirty brain. seconds, I wasn't here. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I like blacked out for a second. I came back and I didn't know what was happening. Okay. Like I was talking, but like <laughs> I think I, yeah. I think, yeah. I think the, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the three of you just had an out of body experience. <laughs> yeah, I was the most looking down like, is he gonna listen? Or... No, nah, they open Dylan up on the autopsy table, they open his lungs and it's just ginger ale. <laughs> I, was, I was like, this is great. No, because I looked at you and I was like, the game you invented, and you're like, what? <laughs> I said something about the price is right. I don't remember anything after that. Price is right rules, but how do you do price is right rules with a day? And if you get for it, you're right, but if you pass it, you're wrong. The f- what? But you can just say, say what you I'm just gonna say said. I'm going to say the first. I'm going to be like, oh, December 1st. And, uh, well, then like, that's the one. That's Sagittarius, though. That's not a Capricorn day. We already gave him a If hint. you say one more thing about the Zodiac It's sign, a valid point, Ross. I'm not going to do anything, but I'll... What about the Zodiac killer? Ooh, Ted Cruz. He, uh, he killed people, dude. Ted Cruz. Hey, I'm Ted Cruz, and I'm... No, I can't get political. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm just talking about his boys. Ted Cruz. <laughs> well, if you accuse somebody of killing somebody, is that political? Nah, man. No, man. Ross, I think you killed somebody. He wasn't, it's not political. He wasn't, like, uh, old enough uh, when the killings actually happened. Or was he? he was. Bro, As he people really start killing at an him. early age. Yeah, but there's, like, a police sketch of him as a, as a Benjamin man. Button who gave the police or he has a really good skin a character Ted Cruz made the police sketch to throw them off the trail <laughs> <laughs> he worked for the <laughs> he wasn't he's the born sketch yet. artist oh my god he's the sketch artist what well, about Ted Cruz you can like... see our moment of realization <laughs> on the, that, on the, the our chair. computer camera just flipped on <laughs> Uh, they found me. Ted, I just want to give him a hug. He looks no, sad. No, no. He, no. Said, he will stab you, you in the off? back and draw what? sigils on you. That he drew it. He drew it. Yeah. I was like, who? No, okay. I was like, okay, who okay, drew okay. the sketch? I need. I was like, who gave something. the idea? And it was like, Ted Cruz drew the sketch. Let's wait till one ends. Okay, cool. I'll go first. So, what's the difference between sigils and runes? Runes are like words. Sigils are like symbols. Runes are like you can read runes. I thought runes are symbols, like because whenever yeah, I'm playing like Skyrim. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, like yeah. runes are like runes are like symbols in a way where you could be like this rune means like luck and happiness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But like sigils are just like this is me giving it meaning based off of what I want out of it. And like, like sigils you, you make yourself, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So I can. I'm, like, I'm not uh, a sigil person. I'm a rune person. You can put that on a candle. Here's the candle that blew up. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me see it. Okay, for, first of all, oh my god. Can you put a picture of that in this? Uh, probably not for the Spotify listeners, <laughs> but I'll, I'll describe it. Okay, Dylan. It is destroyed. I'm going to tell you how to do some successful candle magic. That glass As one. somebody who has done <laughs> successful candle magic, only once though. Only once. Yeah, I've done it twice. That's not successful, bro. You blew up a whole <laughs> candle. Okay, first of all. Candle do- magic. Yeah, candle magic. What is that? You manifest your energy you into the flame. All of a sudden, look, man. And like, <laughs> let him have his interest. Thing. This is something that Dylan and I can actually talk about. Yeah. Everything else, my hint is Zodiac. And then he's like, stop bringing I'm up just, the Zodiac. Stop I'm just up the saying. Anyway, it's just like, it okay. rained today. No, no, no. The Zodiac Let side. me teach you how to do candle magic. So, first, get yourself a candle. I recommend using just like a white candle. Uh, can it be a Yankee candle? It can be, I, well. Use something scentless. Can it be pasta sanded? Um, best one to use is just like a plain white, like, taper candle. Can also, first of all, it's disgusting. This is a serious question. Can I get a bath? <laughs> Can I get a bath? <laughs> candle. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, marinara Smell candle. Smell like mouth. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, all right. So get, like, just like a plain, like, white taper candle. Like, oh, those geez. are the best, like, multi-purpose. Yeah. But you can use, like, any white candle. Like, if you use, like, a candle that's, like, dyed, it already has, like, some sort of, like, significance. And you want to have, like, a multi-purpose candle. So then you have to bless it. Right? This, like, Sneeze takes away. What? 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 Sneeze on it. No, 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 no. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God. All right. So you have to, like, submerge it in sea salt. And just, like, kind of, like, just put your energy in it and be like, this is not for any sort of water bottle. Bottle reason. And so oh once you, I mean, some people, like, pray over it, but, like, not everybody. It's not everybody's thing. So then you, like, take your candle back out of the salt, dust it off, you know, just, you know? Don't light it yet. Oh You're not lighting it yet. Hey, watch this part. <laughs> Bro, what? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, okay, okay. I'm sorry, what? The pizza's not cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have never. Let's just, you were angry. Like, you were genuinely mad. 
So you're gonna not want to. You're not gonna want a candle that's in glass for this exact reason. Now you can like take like a, a like no. a flat surface. You're gonna want like it, it needs to be on a flat surface, and you can put it in a holder. But like, no, I want to touch it. Ross, you're going to get the wrong energy on it. No. Stop it. Stop, you're be gentle. It. You're gonna summon something. Anyway, please do not. Ted Cruz. Oh God. I'm here. <laughs> no. Is he me? Okay, okay, okay. And cruise it. No, no, well, not that. Okay, okay, so after you bless it, you're going to want to dress it. And... <laughs> Get a nice... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, so you want some, like, oil to dress it. And it can be, like, any oil, but, like, it works better. It, like, I put those in there for a reason! Oh, Ross, I swear to God, if you get sigils all over your pizza, greasy pizza paper, I will hurt you. You put the pizza grease in my candle! <laughs> I put the pieces that fell onto the pizza grease Bro, back in the piece. you are putting so much bad psychic energy in Oh, that. get out of here with your, with your magic. My candle magic works now. <laughs> now? Hmm. Okay. It, it, I've only been successful, like, measurably one thrice. time. I've done it thrice. Yeah. That well, like could be design. considered successful. Explode. It could be considered successful. The only one time was like measurably wow. successful. Heaven, it I swear to God. <laughs> so I'm gonna teach you how to dress a candle. <clears throat> <clears throat> so Russell you're gonna want to get some oil. Uh oh, which oil? Which oil? Which is slurping your ginger? It, it cannot be pizza here. grease. It's gotta yeah. be like salad dressing. No. What if I like, you know, like Italian dressing when it like separates and then you just take the just oil? Just use and olive oil. oil. You mean like get it like a miniature. That, do, uh, that oil doesn't taste like Italian, people. What does Italian taste like? Can doing? we get it like a miniature man, man, Gucci sweater? Like a like sweaty, dressing? like, a drip. man a drip. who's been like working, mm -hmm. making me buzz for his. Uh, yeah, pick a hair and get That's a kind of a stereotypical in the uh, border. I'm sorry, <laughs> do Italians not eat meatballs? I'm sorry, do all Italians eat meatballs? <gasps> I'm not saying all Italians, I'm just saying, is there an Italian. Is it impossible for me to assume that an Italian has eaten a meatball at one point in their life? I'm sure they Unless they are Jewish, so they can't have pork. Okay. All right, my God. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to want to get some that, oil. Honestly. Hopefully it has some significance to what you're trying to do. So, like, if you're trying to do, like, a luck spell, you're going to want to use... Baby oil. No, that's, that would be more of a fertility thing, and I would not recommend that for you. Why not? I can get um, pregnant. Can I not be pregnant? No. <laughs> Sadly, no. <laughs> um, if you do become pregnant, you're doing some strong magic, buddy. But, like, eh, eh, use some, like, eucalyptus oil or something. If a dude got luck. pregnant, would it come out the... Can I play? It would have to hole. be an emergency C-section. Can I play ukulele with the eucalyptus? Uh, you, it's just like passing a kidney stone. Oh, if God. your baby a is kid. the size of a kidney stone, you got a kidney. Oh wait, but that would mean because there's no womb, so it'd have to be in the. No. Okay, well I'm what? gonna steer the conversation What'd back you away from yeah, there. Okay, okay, okay. So Sorry, this is... let's say you're wanting to draw luck to, so you're things. gonna want to dress the candle from the top no. to the middle, <laughs> and then from the well. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, top to the middle. <laughs> And, like, get it all the way around, and then bottom to the middle. And that'll draw did things you to you. But if you want to take things away, like, say, bad luck, you're going to go middle to bottom and middle to top. And make sure you're not going back and forth, because that just... It smells so bad. You're doing it wrong. Baby, come on now. Okay, and then... Jesus hey, Christ. Stop. <laughs> what? It's, it smells like pencil. It's a polyester eraser. It smells It's not rubber. Mm. Put down my drawing tablet pen. Don't put it in the pizza <laughs> Ross. Yeah, what's up? That costs many a dollar. Oh, okay. Eighty. At least three. Eighty dollars for a pen. Bro, it's technology. Eighty dollars for the whole thing. The pen's probably like twelve dollars. So this right here was like seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's what you're gonna do with the oil. Some people like to like rub herbs on it, and a lot of people, if they're doing a blood ritual, will put the blood directly onto the candle. I don't recommend doing blood rituals, Dylan. So Dylan, <laughs> uh, you creep. You can't. It's my blood. I it <laughs> okay. You know how much I bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it yes. Dick. Anyway, I have yeah. chronic nosebleeds for anybody. I have ever. cleaned yeah, many a puddle of blood off the floor. Bleed, you creepo. <laughs> Okay, so here's the description of this candle that has exploded in front of me. It used to be, I want to say like six inches tall. That much exploded off of it? Yeah. Oh my, what were you doing? Now it's like one were inch tall. Were you doing tall. blood magic when this happened? No. Why did it explode? 
Uh, he was doing it wrong. You put too much energy into it. It's my story. You didn't bless nor dress it. So here's what happened. He just lit it and hoped. So I made a wrong. sigil, right? And I'm like, you know? And, um, he made that noise. I hope you're a little bit more serious when you're making your sigils, Dylan. No, I am. But uh, in terms of stories, I make myself sound not serious. And then it sounds sticky now, so I take off the adhesive part because I don't want it burning and doing something weird, right? Uh, and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> so then, doing some weird. So then I have it. I light the candle. I put the paper in there. And normally, when you light a piece of paper on fire, it turns into ash in like ten seconds, maybe. Instead, it carbonized and is now a piece of charcoal <laughs> at the bottom of this candle. And uh, like, like, how long would you say a piece of paper about this size would last on yeah. fire? Twelve seconds. Maybe? Not longer than three minutes. What about you? What's your guess? I say it's instantly gone. Yeah. <laughs> the paper Mr. stayed... Mr. I don't feel so good. The paper... <laughs> yeah. Uh, he had the Peter Parker and he's like... Dylan. <laughs> the paper stayed I'll lit for it. 30 minutes. The paper stayed lit for more than 30 minutes. How, though? He's putting too much energy into it. And I'll explain more in a second, but like... Uh, but, so, it did that and then it blew up. Uh, I don't, I, like, am I just not getting how it blew up? Okay, let me continue explaining the whole candle. I'm not done with my story yet. Bro, I'm helping them understand. The glass bursted, alright? Where did it go? Oh, I cleaned it up and threw it away. Was it everywhere, though? It wasn't like, it was just like, boof. Really? Yeah. (laughs) So it was like a contained explosion, almost. Yeah, like, it, none of the glass, like, went past this desk. And Dylan's mom was like, Dylan, kind of, the kind of frick weird. you doing up there? Now she knew, because this, this is the second time a candle exploded. Um, anyway, um, so, like, and the fire's still going, by the way. And I'm like, well, I should probably put that out. So I try to, and then it takes me, like, like five tries just to put out the fire. Because um, it's, like, it's, like, not, like, a wick flame. It's more, like, all around here, like, like, you know how, like, when you put, like, liquid on, like, a speaker and it's, like, pff, 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 mm-hmm. it looked like that. Um, Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, Dangerous, but yeah. awesome. Put pain uh, in the bass booster? You know, something like that. Sounds like, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Um, oh, yeah, so basically, and, like, it lasted for 30 minutes, but that was with me putting it out. Like, I can relight this and it was still, like, light. So, and it's I have, like, I have. You re-lighted. might have solved the world's energy Mm-mm. crisis. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Magic. Mm-mm. Don't do it again. Consult some website, I or at least me first. I already did it again in the past month. And I'm gonna throw this <clears throat> tiny paper. I lit. I re- This is lit. not 9/11, Ross. You do not need to attack the twin towers. There's not two of you though. <gasps> Worst time you've done. Okay. Nine, okay. So after you hopefully have blessed and dressed your candle, this is when you can carve your sigils or runes as a rune like person. Paper. Bro, if you freeze me one day with, like, an ice spell, I swear to God. I'm not going to do ice spells. Well, well if you have malicious fire. intent, candle magic isn't for you. Before before we continue, why did it explode? We'll I get don't there. understand. I'm going to explain to you. Okay, okay, okay. At least my theory about it. Scientifically speaking, probably just because it's glass. Yeah, it probably got overheated, scientifically speaking. But let me continue. Magically um, speaking, <laughs> Eldritch Jerry. It was Eldritch Wizard Jerry. Wizard 101. It was... Uh, like, we'll have to explain who Eldritch <laughs> Jerry is in a minute. Oh, yeah. But, um... This is when you can carve your sigils and or runes onto your candle. If you want to use paper, go ahead and make like a yeah. mat for your candle. Yeah. And you want to have your candle already on it when you draw your sigils and or runes. Unless your sigil takes up the entire paper, in which you want to set it right in the middle. Cool. Uh, that sounds so, boring. Okay, well, do you want it to work? Look, in the past month, I relit this, uh, and I did another sigil. And then what happened? I get top ten in a poetry competition. Oh really, Dylan? Because yeah. never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna flex on you like that. What? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Just my successful candle magic at work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Flex. Why don't you? No, I'll go ahead. So. <laughs> gotta flex off here, ladies right, and gentlemen. All right. Okay. All right. Flex off. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Round right. one. Imitate. All right. So uh, last night, as you know, it was a new moon on March sixth. Yes. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I actually recorded so it. In my on the yeah, and if you want to draw something to you, you want to do that the three days after the new moon, including the day of the new moon. I wanted to draw some luck to me, you know, for the, the good old social studies fair. Uh, so, I did a little, a little candle magic, a little candle magic, you know, 
Um, and so good. my three goals here, success in memorizing the content I needed, mm. uh, fairness in the competition, yeah. and success in, you know, winning. Yeah, you know, doing So spaghetti. So we want fairness in the competition, but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think magic's against the rules. Dylan, do you have a rebuttal? No, I think that's bad. I wanted my judge to be fair, considering last time she wasn't. She was very bored. And she didn't pay attention to me, and she cut me off halfway through. So I wanted justice, some some uh, some luck in there, um, completing a task, justice. and uh, justice. some success, some some just good old old fashioned, you know, uh, uh, some winning, you know. So I, I chose my four runes. You don't always have to do four, but you know, some, some, some. she needs a little extra. extra. Some, some, some. A little I wrote down my thing. goals. I put the runes around them. I did them on the candle. I blessed and dressed. Did my eucalyptus thing. You know, bathed it in salt. Smoked some weed. Uh, that was not Ooh. part of it. Um, on, except, fun little tip out there to you listeners: do not burn sage in your room with no ventilation, or your parents will ask you if you're smoking weed. It smells just like weed. So, you, what you want to do once you have your candle blessed and dressed, as I was saying before, it pertains to my story. Go ahead and uh, and uh, prepare yourself with the energy. You know how to do that. You do your little, as you call them, tarot cards. They are tarot cards. But uh, you you need to prepare your energy. You need to get in the game. You know, get your get your head in the game. So I don't have to have ice in the veins. You know what I'm saying? Like on deck. Yeah, I don't prepare myself before candle stuff. No, you should, because it's a manifestation of your energy. <laughs> Ross, go ahead and throw your phone. <laughs> this scene is like, you have to drop your phone a couple of times. Yeah, everybody who's sat in the sea has dropped their phone. <laughs> it wasn't even... Uh, but yeah, I'm so, uh, you light the candle, you have your energy focused, you focus on the flame, you look into the flame. If you've got like a high, steady flame, it's a, <laughs> it's a pretty... Uh, <laughs> Well, not you, Dylan. <laughs> Your luck was off the chain that day. No, man. You want a high, steady flame, and you want to focus your energy, and you want to wait until you think that the ritual is complete. Um, if it is not complete, you will not be able to stop until it is. Hopefully, if you're doing things right. If yeah, not, you're see, just... Mm, 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 I didn't want to wait for it to end, because it was, like, exploding. I mean, if it explodes, <laughs> it's time to stop. Okay. It's telling you. Where are your oh, yeah. parents? Oh, forgot to mention, you want to put some runes like on your hands or your arms or wrists or something. That also helps. Just connect it's it to yourself. Smiley face. Oh, man. Hey. Uh, and good you might want to like paint them on in a color significant. Like red is a good color for luck. So you just put your runes like tops of your hands and like your wrists. Um, mine right. wouldn't come off for four hours after, which was uh, it was a little strange because it was acrylic a paint. Doctor. It was acrylic paint, so I was like, this should probably come off with a little scrubbing, but it didn't. So that was unsettling. Or nail polish from over. I don't have any of that. Can I put a whole bunch of like sixes and a whole bunch of nines all uh, over my body? Please do not. Why do you keep bringing him up, bro? I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so you, light candle, you focus your energy. Come Hopefully on. the flame is coming towards you a little bit. Yeah. Can I that put a subway on my body? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can I do like the Michael Jackson globe? <laughs> Can I put all star <laughs> lyrics on my wrist? That's a lot of lyrics. Ross, I think you're missing a key component of the things all of these yeah, things have in common. related to a pedophile. Oh, uh... They... <laughs> Potential. Where, like, no, potential. we don't want to. You don't want to put that energy into the world. We got Jared. Jared's <laughs> Eldritch yeah, Jerry. Like, like, <laughs> you, like, you, you got him, like, like you got him, like you got him. He ain't my dog. Yeah, you, yeah, you got him. Like, I'm saying we got him as in like he's booked like, and in prison. Fellow Americans, we got. Him. Uh, but uh, yeah, so when your ritual's <laughs> over, you cannot blow out the flame. That's blowing away all the things you just did. You know, yeah. you cannot just like you. Got, I mean, you can like snuff it out, I guess. But like, preferably you just. Yeah, just pinch it out. Make that noise, too. Yeah, I can't pinch out a two-inch <laughs> diameter flame. Also, before it blew up, it was like a spiraling flame. That's not good. That is not good. Oh, I did the... Dylan, mm-hmm. you have to do your research before you do these things. I was doing research. You had all the signs telling you, don't do this. I was like, how do sigil? And then it was <laughs> no, like, how do paper, sigil? burning candle. I was like, I do that. And then I do that. I could have also done the hangman's position, but I didn't want to. Bro, it helps also to, like, on your, like, mat, or some people call it an altar, but that seems a little eldritch Jerry for me. Mm-hmm. You can, like, make a circle of, like, related things. So, like... Cheeky. That was a cheeky. Yeah, you can just... It's sensational. Cheeky. No, it's sensational. <laughs> related. So, uh, so what I did was for, for winning the social studies fair, I took my previous related items, a couple of medals, you know, like a, a certificate with the project name on it. And I like laid that down. I use like a glass container, put the medals in there, George put the candle on top. You get George Washington's corpse. Make sure you take his teeth out. Uh, make a circle. He doesn't have any teeth. Then it wouldn't. 
No, they're whale bones. Yeah, that's cooler. But yeah, I actually have a bunch of teeth that I use for this. <laughs> they're my own, so don't worry, I didn't steal them. But like, you take your teeth. Stop! You're messing up my candle. Jesus Christ. Ow! And you want to make them all face in towards it, unless you're taking something away and you make them face out. Anyway, <laughs> I did my candle ritual. I felt really good about it. I feel like it went really well. And then I won the social studies fair in a fair competition. I had a good memorization, so I feel like it worked. So there's there's my flex, Dylan. I, I won, and you got second place. See, we've been talking about carrots. Yeah. Carrots. AKA you want to say the cards? No. Yeah, pull them out. No, no, go no, ahead. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Anyway, now we got... We got <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I, don't I would say go ahead and read mine. Now we like... got to talk about carrots. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. uh -uh. It's carrots. only fair. It's only fair. Not making the cards did you out. Have, like, uh, cowards. Do you down. know that carrots yeah. are actually more up. orange than oranges are? Here's my divination book. That's your little fun fact for you. I got it from Poetry I Love. It's wooden. That's really nice. Coptic oh, Arabic. Smack it at you. I messed up writing in it because apparently you're supposed to write in it with the, like the large thing on top, mm. and then I write in it upside down. So mm. Well, <laughs> with the large thing at the bottom, so it's nice. Mm. But I write down the moon phase and what day it is. And how do my rituals go? I don't do anything crazy though. Just relaxation. Yeah. I... No, man, I'm trying to draw in that luck, you know. I also did one for cards. money and then received a Chick-fil-A coupon days later. So, coupon. could have been a success, but it also came from um, somebody whose name rhymes with Mogan Laufey. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't Kogan know about Laufey. that. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, no. He handed me a whole Chick-fil-A uh, little chicken mini for free coupon that expired two days later. So, like, so you had to get in there. So, I mean, I kind of got money, but could have been a little synchronicity there. All right. 78 cards. Wow. Hmm. It's scary how close these things can hit the home. See, I would say, like, go ahead and just, like, read mine, but, like, that would be so boring Some people listening to this. Uh, so I can't do that yet. I can only do divination for, if I were to use magic, what would be the outcome? If I were to use magic for a certain purpose. Like, I have to phrase the question, like, what would be the outcome if I were to use magic? Oh, it's, it, it's written in my book. It's in my book. It's a freaking nifty box. It's a cigar box. Oh, great. Yeah, if you don't have a cigar box to store your weird magical you like, artifacts in, you're doing something wrong. Lady <clears throat> on it. It's inappropriate. No, I'm 18. You I'm better censor it. What was I saying? What would be... No, I'm not doing that one. Hmm? Mm -hmm. What would be the outcome if I were to use magic to gain favor amongst my peers? Oh, you don't need You magic. don't need that, Dylan. You don't need magic I have with us, a buddy. for that. Hold on. Throw that, throw that book in the no, crash. No, no, See, here's the thing. Like, the, what, how this works is Game it's favorite. telling me if I need magic or not. So, here's what I got from it, my interpretation. First of all, here's the cards I drew. The Empress in reverse. The Universe. Fortitude. Uh, the Hanged Man in reverse. The Emperor in reverse, the Moon in reverse, and the Hierophant in reverse. Reverse means most likely it's not good. Um, That's and, not good at all. And the positions mean different things, but I won't bore you with that. Uh, so here's what I got. My interpretation tells me that I have not made any attempts to gain favor due to vacillation or, you know, not. Oh, oh, oh. That was yeah. one of our vocab words. Yeah. Basically not deciding on something, being indecisive. Like to put uh, that brack in your brack. Yeah. Basically. But if I were to, I would be on a path towards success. But I would need spiritual strength to continue. This is a selfish goal based only on immature emotions, and I would need to keep watch for slight deceptions. Going forward with this would ultimately cause me weakness and overkindness, so I will not go forward. Then never mind about my rune, even though I pulled up my whole rune dictionary for you. Yeah, no, see, like, <laughs> Bye. this is just a matter of... There's no... You haven't spoken. There's no reason to knock on wood. It's a good point. Walk on wood. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ready for you to, like, shoot me in the face. <laughs> it was dead silent. You, like, pulled your hand out of your pocket. I was like, oh, that's how it is. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I, I just, just, it's, like, me. full purple. For, like... <laughs> that is I, blue. I looked down. That's purple. And it's saw blue. this white It's thing. purple when you turn off the, um, the night, night filter. Night filter, yeah. 
I saw this white plate in your Not trash can, summer. and my first thought ah. was like, why is there a bunch of milk in your trash can? <laughs> and then my second thought was For like, later. wait, it's in a mesh trash can. Why is there a bunch of spoiled you, milk in your trash can? Who put this milk here? <laughs> it's spilled out. <laughs> like, that was a very interesting first thought. Yeah, I looked down like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so do we want to explain Eldritch Jerry? Because oh, yeah, we've ahead. mentioned him like six times. You go ahead. All right, so so, so there's this there's this fun little thing called gerrymandering. Uh, I won't go into details, but uh, it's it's when you like redraw the political voting districts to like to get a little extra, mm, mm, hey, you know, for your for your uh, party. Edge. Yeah, you know. So yeah, the the first guy to like make history by doing it, his name was Elbridge Jerry. But, like, every time I heard that before, like, yesterday, I thought it was Eldritch Jerry, because, like, I'm deaf, you know, I can't hear. And so, uh, so, so Eldritch Jerry is some, like, grand wizard, apparently, uh, now, since I brought him up, and he exists now, because I put that energy out there to the universe. And, uh, so, now we got Eldritch Jerry. Yeah. He's not a real guy, hopefully. If Eldritch Jerry is real and he's listening Might to this, wanna please visit me. Knock on the wood. No, I kind of want him to be real. Oh, all right. Like, I kind of want to meet him. Oh, look him up. Yes. Make the typing noises louder. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Google unless you do. Uh, oh, sorry, it's spelled Eldritch wrong. Mine. That's just Elbridge, Jerry. I don't care about Elbridge. Well, what about Thompson? Jerry Thompson? <laughs> not. Gary. No, you have to. No, instead of saying not, because that'll just bring him up again, just say minus sign. That's how Google works. No, Google work like not. No, Stop. Google don't like not. Google not work. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Please put find um, a way to put that on. For the listeners, it's it's an anime girl. <laughs> it, that's a uh, saber from Fate. Cool. I don't uh, know any anime girls. Without... I've never seen. It Fate. doesn't even say that anywhere on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, he I know just it is. Saber. <laughs> Can you make any know. more noise? Oh, uh, it's red saber. This is blue saber. Is there a black? Saber? Are they two different people? Because <laughs> they're, they're like I don't think so. Uh, for those of you listening, I've never seen Fate, but you already know I watch anime, because I'm at, I think I'm at 78 on the list of shows, number of shows I've seen. That brings me into a tangentially relation, really related question, Mm -hmm. relation question. You wouldn't tore me up if I stuttered like that. Go ahead. Kill her. (laughs) Finish her. (laughs) Okay, alright, okay. Today, Junior! Jesus Christ! That was a lot of stuff. The first one was me, though. <laughs> okay, so 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 fate. Yeah. Not the anime, just okay. the real thing. Cool, because I haven't seen it. <laughs> cool. No one cares. Um, <laughs> so, as somebody that's trying to get into divination, do you believe in fate? No. Cool. Because <laughs> divination is different than fortune telling. Fortune telling is like, uh, there's an example, so I'll use that, but it won't be exact because I don't remember it exactly. Mm. But it's like fortune telling would say you're going to have an accident on a boat. Right? And, like, what fortune telling would believe is that no matter how much you try to avoid it, you'll somehow end up on a boat having an accident. Final destination. Divination would be, like, you are likely to have an accident on a boat. Meaning, if you avoid it, you you could easily not have an accident on a boat. Divination is what will likely happen if you were to, like, influence it in any way or, like, go towards that. But fortune telling is, like based off of fate is like this will happen so like fortune telling is more fate divination is more like destiny what is your definition you know, of fate because fate and destiny sound like the same thing they are not well i don't care uh so <laughs> yeah y'all ever heard the word like, fatal yeah destinatal. Yeah, fatality <laughs> sorry who am I? destinatal <laughs> anyway <laughs> see because like when i was reading my interpretation of my reading uh it was saying like if i were to do this i would likely become weak due to over kindness that is only if I did it. Yeah, right now, I'm not using magic to gain favor. I'm just being Dylan. So, like, I'm not going to become... How's that power. working for you? Not well. <laughs> Jesus, heaven. God. He has to give me back for what I did last episode. Yeah. Hmm? When I was clowning him for not having a girlfriend. I mean, I'd be like that. Yes. Dylan? <laughs> no, I was clowning him because he was like, yeah, my... My, my three-step process that never fails. Well, has it ever worked? Not on it. <laughs> Has it ever worked? Because, <laughs> like, it doesn't necessarily no. have to work to not fail. 
Duh. Like, boom, boom, boom. like school. I'm not failing, but I'm not working hey, either. <laughs> can the guy that has a girlfriend give advice? No. Okay. No. Yes. Right. Yours is more of a fate thing. Uh, heavens is more of a destiny. Uh, <laughs> My destiny is to be lonely. Lonely. <laughs> 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 no. I just find someone that just. You think it's that easy, Ross? I don't think I have the time for it. Yeah, you think I have the time for it. We can't all date a f***er. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, Emma. Yeah, brief intermission. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're good now. So. Sorry, I pooped my pants. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. I thought we could go an episode without a poop joke, and yet. It wasn't a poop joke. I pooped my pants. Uh, everything's completely serious. <laughs> yes. Like. <gasps> oh. Thank God anyway, what's your advice? But any of you like Mr. Little Uzi Vert? No, because I just say his name. <laughs> Hit my line. Small, small green vert. gun? Little Uzi Vert. Mm? <laughs> yeah, see? It's him. Little Uzi Vert. Lucifer? No, there's no T. Little Uzi Vert. Little Uzi Vert. Lucifer. 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 Yeah, if you twist it enough to sound like that. You can't tell me he doesn't hit the dirtiest shoulder roll you ever seen. I'm not saying he's not hitting the dirtiest shoulder roll. And you know he's a Eats grass because he's a goat, okay? Kevin, I'm about to tell you something that will change your life. Nope. I have no clue who Lil Uzi Vert is. Never seen him. Don't know who he is. I'm guessing he's a musician. Haven't heard it. Cool. Alright, so next subject, because I didn't hear anything. Alright, okay. All right. No, what was your advice? Because I just clowned on you because I was... Yeah, I need some advice, Rasta. <laughs> can, can I finish, Emma? Please don't kill no, like, me! <laughs> fatality. Like, he's halfway through the fatalities, like, alright. <laughs> after after this, you forgot the comma in there, so it became strange. Go ahead. No, you're off thin ice. So not my last name. You're exposing me. I have to censor that. <laughs> so I'm making more work for me. <laughs> thin ice. You're on uh, thin ice. No, just find someone that just has similar interests. That you you guys work good together. Like what, Uzi? Yeah, I mean it's it's not rocket science. Uh, like, can we get no... a can we get an enemies to friends AU? <laughs> can I get an F in the chat for my love life? <laughs> yeah, there's and all those people that are like, no offense to you, Hebza. Uh, Sorry, what did you just call him? Hebza. All right. And there's no like A B C plan a, that will B, work. C? It's just what is with you and child molesters, Heaven? Oh my God, that was a stretch to get there. Yeah. Also, this was when he was a child himself. And? Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. I mean, I'm not saying children can't. Okay, I don't want to. Let's not do that. Sorry. Okay, Rasta, keep flowing. Keep flowing. <laughs> Just there's no A B C step. Pl- don't say me. step plan to anything. It just like what Emma said. I don't know what destiny, fate, all that, but I do believe things happen for a reason, and I do believe that I was meant to meet Caroline, and you know, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, a lot of big butter boom. My eyes bada are bork, bada boom. <laughs> I love you too, Hester. <laughs> but define <laughs> fate, Emma. It's so, a television series. Sorry, Dylan, what's your name? Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> all right, on, all right, Dylan. all right, okay. So, fate, you can't avoid. You're like, you're stuck, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, fate is fatal, you know? You know, you know? So, like, destiny, like, it's what's supposed to happen, but I feel like you can alter that. So what do you believe? Yeah, 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 I think I'm in a simulation, if we're being honest here. I have seen... Okay, so let me explain this whole simulation thing just for today. So many dominoes. Not just the three dominoes cars. Also the dominoes we're eating. And Jesse J's domino came on the radio on the way here. So it was really weird. And I'm definitely in a simulation. That was a lot. I mean, you can, like, in. not believe me. Like, that's cool. But I know what happened. All right. But yeah, I do believe things happen for a reason to a certain degree. Like, I don't think... I don't, uh, maybe we're on a set path, maybe we're not, I don't, I don't think about it too hard, or, you know. I was like, yeah, we're just all going through life, uh, whatever, whatever happens is gonna happen, we might as well enjoy it. Uh, That's why I do cocaine. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, so let's that. bring this back up. If you had to do a hard drug. Cocaine. Why? Okay, think about it. But like. Crack, no, meth, no, <laughs> heroin, no, uh, speedball, no. Uh, oh, like, that's, a, that's a game at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> that's ski ball. And bowling. Oh, no, what did he say? Eight ball? I said speed ball. Oh, that's a game in gym class. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a specific drug, is it? It's just it's an upper a, and a downer at the same time. No, speed ball is when I 
believe it's when you mix heroin and cocaine. So it's a hybrid. Oh my god. Yes. Just like me. I okay, so what you're doing is killing yourself. Yes. Hybrid. So hybrid. all those, no. Cocaine, that's what the rich people do. Okay, but like, hear me out. Cocaine hurts your little nose. <laughs> so like... <laughs> I already have nosebleeds as is. So don't, don't make do it cocaine. worse. You have had like three nosebleeds. In like the past dec... I was going to say decade, but I was like, that makes sense. In the past de- decahedron. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you heard me, Evan. No decahedron, that's right. Like, I have nosebleeds at least once a, once a month. Don't say anything. Do not say Listen, anything. I've stuttered. You're allowed to stutter. The last nosebleed I got is because I hit this guy with a... Uh, he, he gave you a goat. He's a goat with an eraser. No, Jesus I Christ. Stop <laughs> playing with my eraser. No, I think we're, they we're gave me breast cancer. We were playing basketball. That was for We were playing basketball and hit him with a dirty pump fake. And like he flew through the air. Maliciously. And he kicked me in my nose. And like it started bleeding. And that's pretty That's pretty. Much She's sweet. Up. But he's a legend. I've talked to you him You know who you are, goat. Yeah. I've talked to her. What was you talking about? You, the ones, like, you talked to her like once a week. And then this week you were like, get, get off the phone with her. I mean, because you're FaceTiming her while we're trying to have pro we, time. We weren't doing anything life-changing. We were watching YouTube videos no, together. To the listeners, me, Hefsta, and Dylan are sitting on the couch watching a guy review KFC food. He was eating Ooh. everything on the menu. <laughs> okay, so nothing, like, life-changing. And then I was like, oh, let me answer my girlfriend, who I like Gross. quite a bit. Sorry, Gross Dylan. before hoes. <gasps> Yeah, but his lady friend isn't the H word. I know she's not, but like, I was a general rule. Bro. Are you yeah, a bro? And so he did you break speak it. on the bro I'm side? Saying, my entire life, I've always been like the you. one of the guys person. Too. Okay, let me have this. Anyway, nice. so we're just, I was like, oh, let me answer to my girlfriend. So <laughs> Don't call her that to her face. And I was like, like hey, what's I up? And she was trying to show me the shirt she did, and it was like, are we interrupt? Like, bro, you can do that in a text. Dylan, you're rude. You got yeah, offended. No, no, no. All, all yeah, of us are spam go in the December comments. December Capricorn. Yeah, I get a lot of these too. I almost yeah. said the N word. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Because <laughs> I've been doing that in like theater a bunch. Because like, talk- like, there's like seven guys in theater and like five of them are black. So I'm just, I, I can say the N word more freely. And yet Penn still does can, like the uh, Google eyes. But all the you can do it freely. Does that make it right, Dylan? What? Does it make it right that you can do it more freely? Yeah. No. You're going to tell no. me I can't say the N word? Yes. Oh, Heaven. I, say <laughs> I am Ugandan. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, uh, my fellow Ugandans know that's what pretty are you dark. <laughs> so dark. I can tell you what you can and can't say. Yeah, yeah. No, nah. I'm saying there is someone saying. listening that is fully convinced heaven is you got. <laughs> Which someone... it should be. No. I'm not fully you got but no, like the N word doesn't like mean anything ones. in an Africa. In, in Africa. It, no, because like there's no connotation there. It just means like yes, I'm black. Uh, I get it. Yes, but like if you say it in America, like there's that's whoa, the whoa, whoa. Sorry. Yeah, because in this one African comedian, comedian, he was uh, he was explaining that Ross, I haven't said a word about your stuttering. I've been doing it for an hour. There was a N word like G A, and he said it like meant please. So different oh, cultures. Trevor Noah. Yeah, yeah. I love that guy. Call me. Hey, Trevor oh. Noah, if you're listening, <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop uh, listening. <laughs> yeah, you might as well quit while you're ahead. Um, mm. anyway. Bring up a new topic, Dylan. Uh, right, right in the comments. <laughs> now, before, before we move on, right in the comments, is it okay to, to pick up a call from your girlfriend or Girl. your significant uh, other so we can include everybody? And uh, yes, it is. No, we gotta talk about that. It is, it is, you have to, you if, have to pick it up. If we were, like, having a converse, like, I was talking to you face to face and then I took the call, that would be... Rude. That would be very rude. But you would handle it better than that. You'd be like, excuse me. I yeah. That. And I, we were watching YouTube about a guy eating fried chicken. Yes. Okay, but here's my philosophy. If yeah, she could have you... texted it to you, you shouldn't have to, like, answer the call. Like, you said she was trying to show you a shirt she made. Yeah. She could text you a picture. Well, I think... Okay, so you think that was rude. I don't. Not necessarily don't. rude, but, like, you're hanging out with your, with your friends. Like, that's friend time. Not, not, not girlfriend. Think, if time. I was at her spot, I probably wouldn't have thought about texting a picture. I'd have yeah. called you. I mean, yeah, but like I would have texted first, like, "Can I call you?" And you could be like, "Hey, I'm hanging out with my friends right now. Give me like twenty minutes." 
See, I don't, Dylan, I, you, you, you shouldn't put your girlfriend on hold. I'm, All you I'm, listeners out there, don't just, put your significant other on hold. Okay? I'm just I'm just giving you a hard time because you have a girlfriend and I don't. And you'll get there, Dylan. Oh, yeah. Candle yes, magic. You Actually, you don't candle magic. Here's the thing girl. about that. Dylan probably because I wrote in my candy. divination book. Oh, oh, boy. oh. oh. That's Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. That's a diary. That is a diary. It's not a diary. Leave him be. You don't write the moon phase in your diary, do you? I mean, I mean, <laughs> one day you week it is. I found that ultimately the use of magic would be useless, as I would end up ruining my chances through vacillation. I will not go forward. Here's the thing with candle magic and like romance. It just okay? cut. Flat <laughs> lines. Yeah, that, that, was, that was his feelings. <laughs> so, with candle magic, it's a lot like divination in the, in the romance department because you're not like forcing a relationship to happen. You're seeing you're the likelihood of it. Influencing one to be like the chances to occur. Yeah, it's more like you like want to use two candles, one representing like the other person and one representing yourself. And you look at the strength of the flames. If one is like very like high and strong and steady. You're like, okay, and the other one's like wavering around and like isn't staying very steady. That's probably not going to work out, but if they're both high and strong or they're both like wavering around, there's kind of your answer. Cool, we got serious for a second. Ross is still making fun of me. <laughs> I know, um, I was laughing at Dylan. And uh-huh, he was just, okay, all right. Well, okay. I was genuinely listening. That was really yeah. amusing, <laughs> Dylan, that's really sad. <laughs> it said it was a selfish goal. <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of is. It but is. Like, I'll read the whole thing. Don't, don't force yourself. No, that's fine. This divination tells me that the use of magic for this purpose would uh, cause the union of two unlikely forces, but this would ultimately be for ill intentions. Mm-hmm. I will also find disappointment in the fact that my expectations will not be met. I've also found that this would likely be a selfish and baseless act on my part, mostly doing it to show my own self-worth. And then the ultimately part... Sound like he went to jail for like a like, bit of time, and like this is like, after you like you know I killed that dude. And I now it was a very selfish thing for me to kill. Him. Okay, well I don't want to stomp me. on candle beliefs, or I I really don't. It's not a religion. Go ahead, say what you want. It's. It just happens naturally. Like there's no rhyme or reason to the uh, candles or to well, the yeah, no, yeah. Cause, like, cause yeah, yeah, for I both. Think I, uh, when I was like looking this stuff up. Uh, you can't like use candle magic to be like I will get together with so and so. You have to be yeah, like like that's that's a perverted attempt. I will find myself in a I healthy like relationship. Word. It'd be a better sort of goal. Yeah. Or I will um, have more confidence when it comes to romance. Mm-hmm. Like stuff like that is mm-hmm. better than forcing yourself into a relationship with yeah, someone yeah. who may already be in a relationship may not be looking for one. That's where it gets iffy. And you, you usually would use candle iffy. magic to iffy improve upon iffy yourself iffy. and not uh, force your will on others. Because, like, I would have never guessed me and her would have got together. Like, and let, I, I was still, till the day she was like, hey, I like you. I was like, oh. Uh-huh. 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 Like, 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 I would have never predicted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would have never predicted me and her. So you just, you never know. No, nah, Ross is clueless. He, like, she'd be like, hey, I like you. And he's like, yeah, that's my favorite letter, too. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it was... Ah, I'm more of a K person. Yeah, it, it's cool for me to talk. Like, the whole thing, like, <laughs> she invited... Oh, God, I wish you could <laughs> translate like, Dylan's face into audio. Dylan, what are, what are you... What's, what's so funny? No, go ahead. <laughs> and, like, tears wanna, running out of... Don't go on. Expose it. Expose it. I don't, don't want to... Expose, expose <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to... Do it. Did Dylan have a potential lady friend that... Went in the like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk to this anymore. Don't think I did. No. So why was your face like, like your sponge face and squeezed all up? <laughs> because Ross was like, if you don't mind me talking. He like touched him gonna... right on the teat. Like that was like an experience. Ross touched my teat. Ross to do it. Oh yeah, what are you saying? I uh nothing. Oh, <laughs> no, like, you you brought it up. Don't pull it, Chris. You gotta say it. Okay, so um... yeah, Chris is letting his marinate though <laughs> for a while. Oh, for a while. This... He's gonna come back and be like, what? No, he's gonna know. I promise, listeners, I promise you, Chris will tell you. It's like, Why'd you address them so sweetly? They're like, oh, dearest it's like the end, it's like I the, love the listeners. I love all it's you. It's like the end of Marvel movies. Like, Chris will be back in Avengers it's Infinity like, War. He's not even the special guest, he just shows up. He busts the road. He's like, guys, I have to tell you. <laughs> guys. Wait, what were you Like, he doesn't about? have much longer left. So, uh, yeah, like, as Emma said, I was completely clueless that she liked me. 
So, like, she invited me to her birthday dinner, and there was this one person that I really didn't care for, and she was like, please come. I was like, I really don't want to. Like, you're cool, but I don't like that person. She was like, please come. It would mean a lot to me. Red flag, but, you know. Done. Wait, 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 red flag. Red flag for what? No, oh, red flag. White flag. White flag. Good. Oh, like, red flag's bad things. In what did she say? Flag, sorry. Wait, white, white flag <laughs> surrender. Sorry, I, I meant... No, it was, a, it was a point of vulnerability. Oh. Sorry, it's hard to say that yeah, pizza crust in my mouth. And I was like, oh, this... Oh. And then, uh... <laughs> she, and then she was like, you know, she's just annoying towards you because she likes you. And I was like, nah. Stop it. And she's like, Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And then yeah. like, she was like, Well, you're a great guy, so why would she? I was like, Wait a minute. Bing. But then that's when like why? they connected in his head. No, that it did the wires were like this. They weren't even connected yet. And then I uh, went to the birthday dinner, had a good time, and then we went back to her house. The group did with her parents. So um, and then uh, like she said, You wanna come home? <laughs> <laughs> we were sit- uh, we were sitting down and she kinda like laid her head on my shoulder. I just oh, realized oh. I didn't I just realized I didn't need Before to do that. Marriage? Like, and... What? <laughs> I know Ross. <laughs> what? Uh did you put your venus away? And or? then again I was like, wait a minute. It's six. No, it's actually a nine. And now it's a nine. Like that. Bro, that's an E. I turned a six upside down. That's a 2.71. It's a nine now. Oh, it's a nine. Is it just me or is like everybody failing calculus right now? I'm not. I'm a 96. Okay, well, I'm not failing. I have a B. And I'm like, not still. taking the test. <laughs> Miss, <laughs> Miss Boo got so. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> she is ready to kill she me over so like, disappointed. She's like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, she was like, so, oh, you're taking the test. I was like, mm, well, no. She was like, you do know you get credit for it, right? I'm like, well, the website here that I have pulled up, the official website, you know, that says everything I need to know says no credit. She's like, well, you get elective credit. I was like, mm, but it says no credit. So I assume that means no, no credit. credit. She was like, hmm, I'll have to look into it. Then she never brought it up, meaning I'm right and she's wrong. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. Oh yeah, so, are you done with what you're saying? Uh, just like, yeah, she laid her head on my shoulder. I was like, wait a minute. And this then, is a mean thing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh. And because I'm, I think I'm like you a little bit. Like, I will not think a girl likes me until they, like, say it. Like, no, I don't even think that if, even if they say it. Dylan just knows they hate him. <laughs> oh, who's Damon? Um, uh, that's his real name. <laughs> But yeah, and then, yeah, uh... Was that the I'm ghost? Just, yeah, I'm just oh, it's my pulling your heart strings. Oh, oh, makes more sense now. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Everything's <laughs> coming together. And then finally she was just like, Ross. And she was like, I like... So she hit you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Ross. No, oh, and then she was oh, just that was like... crisp. Look at that, like, thin little... Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah that was pretty good. We had a conversation. She was like, I'd like to talk to you a little more. And mm. I was like... I think it's safe to say that. See, like, in that situation, be like, what, like, on the phone or what? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and then, like... Uh, can we schedule that, like, when? <laughs> you have my number, and then... <laughs> and then four weeks later? Well, then I asked her to be on Girlfriend on Valentine's, and then four weeks later. Wow. <laughs> Dylan, I'll marry you. God dang. You're gonna be a baby about it. <laughs> <laughs> Evan and I just made that eye contact, like, uh, should I, should I, I uh... Want it. Fine, fine, fine. You got I'll my do it on my own. Do what? I'll get some girl. With the vacillation? No, shut up. <laughs> Dang, this has been the fastest hour yet. Is it, an hour? Is it already an hour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, last episode was an hour 40 minutes. Oh my god. But then again, it's fine. Cause as long as it's under 48 mm-hmm. megabytes, we can go as long as... It's at 110. Well, I, I gotta be somewhere at 935, so... Uh, at 935. Uh, Sorry, that's oddly specific, but uh, I gotta be somewhere at seven thirty. Well, uh, good thing it is eight forty-five. Anyway, I gotta be in bed. <laughs> Do you know it's I got a day off tomorrow? Yeah, I know, but it's I got church. Let me day me. off. It's Sunday. Oh, praise the Lord. I gotta go. Peace here. Right on my hey, Dylan. Oh, what do you oh, do oh, oh, sorry, I just remembered something. Yeah. I'm not awesome. gonna share. I, <laughs> it is, I have a chance to win money. So I might just have to, just have to get some mother. money. I did that money spell like two weeks ago. So, and it's uh, time. It's time. It's time for the money. I swear. What? What do you swear, Krillin? Glebus. Glebus I don't Christ? Like that word. Spend time with your girlfriend. I will FaceTime you while we spend time. I no, will hang up Ross. on you and block you. 
<laughs> Somebody's that a was... little bit in A. Not available. Narc art. Salt. <laughs> oh. N A C L. You didn't let me finish. Sodium. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> N A Salt C L. Yeah. That's how... <laughs> I failed chemistry. <laughs> I got a B. Well, yeah, just go ahead an and A flex. overall with a B. Go ahead and flex it. I don't mean no flex. Well, that was my first B since God. freshman year. Uh, gotta say, my first grade that was not an A was my C that I got in gym. I keep getting Bs, like triple Bs, you know what I'm saying? I like, have a B in gym because I triple didn't do B's. well on the flexibility test. Well, like, I just, your flexibility? Yeah. yeah, I couldn't touch the silver thing. See, our special guest Chris will one day have to tell you about the... Uh, Why has he got to flex so hard in gym? His he goes his his so hard in gym class. Nah, he just... Honestly, he probably doesn't go too hard. He's just naturally pretty decent at everything. Bro, you know? my seventh grade year, I literally ran two pacers, and I, I was like, no, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, he, he ran a lot, probably. Yeah, I don't like how I had to run 16, 61, so <laughs> that's just not it. Because I'm 16 plus, so But yeah, Chris's run... trunk raise is terrible. It's like half a centimeter. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, trunk raise like, is he's all like I a can board. Do. He's like a board. Like, I was dying last night. Might as a feather stiff as a board, I guess. Yeah, it says, like... Light is some drill and stiff is some, some drill. <laughs> stiff is some drill. A kilogram I mean? of steel or a kilogram of manners. All right, before anybody, oh, let's transition into something else. Everybody's going to prom, aren't they? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. who knows? Uh, yeah. Do you have any ideas of what you're wearing? Probably just the same thing over the homecoming. See, y'all have it so easy. You can just put you on the same thing every time and nobody knows. I don't. Except no. heaven. Heaven's got to go in and flex on all of you know, Like heaven say, switches it up. I yeah, I respect it, but you, like. If you show up wearing the same tux to every event, take take a page out of Heaven's book. Thank you. Okay, you way. act like I have money to buy that kind of stuff. But here's the thing. Like, y'all well, just get a pass on that. Like, if I show up wearing the same dress to two events, no they're going to be like... No one would care. Literally no, no one No, I would care. get called out on it. You get called out, but <gasps> not by the people who you should care about. I mean, if, yeah, that's true, but I still get called and out. If, and My if, feelings would be bruised. And if the person remembers what you wore to a dance, like... And they're just jealous. They're, they're keeping an eye on you because I just have to pull up in the same dress. And they're just having a sad life, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh Jesus! What about, oh what about you, Lassa? What uh, do you have any colors in mind or anything? I'm anything? thinking about a gray tux with gray, like, gray. Yeah, I like gray. I don't, I don't with know. a I black like lapel thing. Yeah, I, don't yeah, know. Know. I think I feel like gray tux. See, that was a stretch. That was a stretch. I'm thinking about Ray not Lapel, wearing Dave tux. Chappelle. It's mm-hmm. about the same. I don't think I'm good, man. I don't think I'm gonna wear a tux. I think I'm gonna wear, wear a dress. Heaven, I'll wear a tux. I'm gonna wear a leopard print jacket. Okay. With a black button up that has leopards all over it. No, I mean turtleneck. And it's gonna be clean. Beans. No turtleneck. Turtleneck then, button up. I'm gonna try to. I'm oh, gonna God. try to bring in a wet floor sign <laughs> and take pictures and be like, "Mine the drip." Here's how the. Oh drip. my think, God. Can I wear clean. a speedo? Uh, I would recommend yeah. that you don't. If it's no, upper please. print and you can go, and I wear you know? like a like a swim cap and I have goggles, and be like, Foom! and like dive everywhere. In my drip. You can dive in my drip. How do you come up with this? Drip? I'm gonna bring a bar of soap too, <laughs> and listeners. Later on, at the after prom podcast, I will tell you what the soap is for. Sorry, what? What were you saying? Oh, I'm gonna bring a bar of soap. Okay. And I have a reason for it. Okay. And I really want to say it right now. I really want to say it right now, but I can't. I can't. It's a secret. Why? Because you would clean up. (laughs) No, Uh, that's close. Because you were looking so clean. Because I'm cleaner than the soap. Mine was better. That's, that's clean. Uh, yeah. Put off of mine. No, Good way <laughs> fussy with me. Uh, Caroline, it meant nothing. Bro, she listen to this? No. <laughs> <laughs> you reacted so, like, physically, like, ugh. You, like, twitched. You got any money, Jones? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> In the garage. Can I steal them? Bro, you have to go all the way to the southern hemisphere to get another Yeah, I'm not, yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, the only part she's heard is when I, like, skip to the part where Heaven was like, is she thick? Is she and, still? Then, and, is she, then, is she and then we listened to that like 20 times because I kept laughing so hard. Is she still? <laughs> Every podcast I've listened to, it's just like Ross doing like weird ASMR noises. And so like, on the second one, I, on the second one, I was making weird noises. I feel like you were there. <laughs> like I really do. And then like Heaven's just like, like, yeah, yeah, for like the whole thing. And then Dylan's like, uh, the it's first listeners, one was, not viewers. The, okay, the first one was... That was a pretty good impression of you. No. No. 
No. I'm going to get the guitar. Oh, is it song time? Oh. Yeah, it's guitar time. Let me just tell you something, Heaven. The song gets stuck in my head for like three hours every single time. Really? Yeah. And that's one of my favorite parts. So all like the two whole thing, times? The whole thing yeah. is my favorite part. The third three episode times. is already up, dang it. Yeah, she I'm, did I'm not watch that I'm before she came here. She I'm couldn't sorry. have. She would have listened to it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want this to have one. Philly! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ross. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I turned into Julie Andrews. What? You know me. Wait, does anybody else want to do guitar? Ah, uh, no thanks. Uh. <laughs> that, you look like Woody. That was Every, almost Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Almost... <laughs> Why do you have it if you see, can't we, play? See, we gotta... Some people just acquire a guitar, you know? Yeah. I like, down. one day I was just chilling, and my grandpa comes in the house, he's like, you want this? So I'm like, sure, it's a guitar, I don't have to play it. He took it, it back. From my mom's so. cousin, I think? No, I got it from my aunt who got it from my mom. Might it. have to add some percussion to this. Speaking of which, I didn't know that um, my grand uncles and aunts were in the Yahweh Ben Yahweh cult. Oh, mm. tell me more. No, I don't know no, much about it. Know. What did they believe? This all started from when uh, I said Yahweh, and there's a God. They believed in taking money from old people and killing people. Yeah. Huh? That's pretty much it. <laughs> grand. Yo-way, yo-way. I don't think that was actually kind of cool. Alright, let's start it. Sing me a little ditty and I'll be <laughs> Not a ditty. Well, we talked about food again on the show and we talked maybe about. Maybe I should start. Maybe I should start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, what? You want to sound a little fast? Like, sweetie. <laughs> like that? You want a little like, you know, yeah, know. Yeah, just watch, I'm gonna just do one really long, and you gotta fit it all in. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Fit it all in. Go. Talk about food. And we got this is <laughs> pizza. We didn't really talk about food that much. I talked about the candle pork nugget, <laughs> candle beliefs, and. Sorry. We talked about what? Candle can candle beliefs. I, I heard I heard cannibal leaves. <laughs> like we did oh, I hope we don't talk about that ever. Oh, crunchy Maybe. Sanders! Maybe that last stream <laughs> episode. We talked about Mario. Yo. <clears throat> and we talked about Terrence. We spoke about Pom. And we should have mentioned Carrots. Well, well, we did for a second. Carrots. And I looked at. Made Penn look at four number four. Oh, we didn't mention that during the podcast. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, that was that was a pre podcast. Yeah. That was a pre podcast. Yeah. We were sitting downstairs when it happened. Uh, we were waiting on the pizza you took twenty years to order. Just no made him look up some corn. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of corn. Like corn. A whole lot of corn. Co Dylan. Coin. Some coin. Corn. Uh, coin. Coin. No. Slightly. Avoid we stuff. blew up candles. You did that. I did it on and my own. And I told own. you how to do it right. I don't want to do it right. Because it's cooler it. when I don't. It's not cooler. It's not. And Russ has a girlfriend. Well, I'm very happy with him. I will slap him. You talk to him again. Caroline has brown, brown hair and brown eyes. That do it. That's not related to the conversation at hand. Well, he was saying if he if I mention her one more time, he's gonna slap me. Oh. Yeah. Did you see that block? You guys didn't see it. Hey guys. <laughs> that was the candle. Leave a comment if you saw that slap. If somebody saw that, then that's very <laughs> concerning. Ah. Ah. I feel bad because I always hit you, but you never. Keep going, Evan. Just keep going. Okay. I do it when like you know you're about to get hit. I'm like Ross, look at me. <laughs> like, that was a genuine, like, Ross. Ross! <laughs> okay, but what if our names were all, like, slightly different? Like, what if Ross was, like, Russ? I've been called that many a time. <laughs> and Heaven was just, like, Evan. We got, like, Evan, Russ, Emmett. uh. Yeah, we got Emmett, and we got, uh. Deer and Pine Staff. No, no, we'll take it. That was my we'll D&D character. What was the okay, I have a complaint about D&D. Um, I want to play it so bad, but the only people I know of that, like, play it hate me. And don't things. want me to be alive. I wonder. I got death threats why. from these people. Ooh, I mean, I, don't, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to play D and D with people I who like literally kill me. I don't have it, and 
It's like a hundred bucks. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a hundred bucks. Well, just maybe get, soon though. Maybe you know, soon. It's not I'm about bucks. to be winning some money. Fortnite. Oh. If you put, we talked about Fortnite in the. We title. didn't talk about Fortnite. Okay. We sang about it. it. Guys, what about Fortnite? Okay, now we <laughs> talked about Fortnite. Yeah, we talked about oh. Fortnite. If you put Fortnite in the title, I'm going like to resign night. from my like boy name. Episode night. four. Thank, thank you, everybody, for listening to episode four of the Like Boys podcast and titled Fortnite. Fo- Foyt Noit. Foyt Noit. I'll be fine with Foyt Noit. Hey, Foyt Noit. Foyt Noit. It doesn't, it is the least satisfying thing to mess up in front of people, like talking wise. As a perfectionist, yeah. Like, it hurts. <laughs> Dylan, I know you want to end the podcast, but we're like not at an, like a good satisfactory yeah. little spot. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta give me a, some better lyrics. It just gotta, cuts off. Come on, Heaven. We can have a song. Come on. Come on. You need some better lyrics than that. Uh, talked about Foyt Noit. Oh my god. You literally talked to us for like three minutes before we started. You gotta speak clearly, you gotta speak close to the mic. And you are mumbling as far away from the mic as you can be. A regular Brocklehurst. Broth? Uh, oh, uh, broth, okay. So, <laughs> talk so long about those tarot. Tarot, Caro, Pharaoh. <laughs> you are Eric. so Bone far Marrow. from the original word. Barbaric. Prince Eric. Prince Eric. Talked about barbecue Got cars. food, but won't share it. That's gotta hurt your fingers, man. Okay, just cut it. Just cut it. No, no, no. We usually don't end with the guitar playing. Yeah, you do. You, like, fade it out. Yes, you do. No, because the last episode, you ended with... I got something to tell you. And uh, we're going to end it like that again. All right. All right, all right, all right. Thank you for listening to episode four of the Like a Boys podcast with Girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening. Listen again. <laughs> we will see you. What is wrong we with will you? find you. And I got something to tell you.